Hi. Hi. Welcome to A2Z knowledge.com. So today we are going to discuss about uh, transformation and action in Spark. Okay. So I have already explained uh, what is Spark, what is RDD and all those videos are available in my Spark uh, uh, playlist. I have shared my Spark playlist link in the description box of this video. You can you can just go through all those videos. So uh, now I like we are going to uh, deep dive into the Spark transformation and actions. So with respect to RDD, uh, it has two major operation which we call it as transformation and then action okay and action in spark we do all uh, whatever we do with the data is transformations right so you have to filter something you have to do join or you have to aggregate or you have to map something so everything we call it as a transformations right so and action so what is action so i want to perform something so you perform some transformation and finally you have to do some action for example i have to print it or i have to save to a file so some, something like that if you do we call them as action so if you are very new to spark and you have a question uh, so how can i uh, by seeing the code how can i say this particular function or piece of code is transformation or this particular function or piece is an action but that is something you can easily able to understand once you start doing your code activities so for example i will i will give you some transformations example here so map is a transformation by seeing that i can say yeah map is a transformation and then filter is a transformation etc and in action we have something like uh, collect so collect will collect the data it's similar to the print statement uh, show we have something called show and then there is something called save as file so save as file is something you save your uh, output to a file so by seeing this yeah we can say yeah this is the action okay and spark rdd has an advantage called lazy evaluation what does that mean okay people are very familiar with this if you are very familiar yeah maybe you can skip uh, like 40 to 50 seconds of this video from now so for others i am going to tell you what is lazy evaluation so in spark in map reduce there is only uh, two transformation map reduce that's it but here we do have a lot of transformations right so uh, the lazy evaluation is all about in spark you are writing a program imagine you are reading a file and then you are doing a map operation on top of it and you are making it as a key value pair or whatever you want and then you are applying and filter and finally you are performing an action like save as file you want to save this in hdfs or somewhere in your linux so now uh, if you run this first three right in your spark shell or even in the ide when you run it so what the compiler will do is it won't do anything so when when there is an action only then the compiler will start your transformation so that means the bottom to top so that we call it as a lazy evaluation you can ask me why they have designed in that way see i'm using uh, some uh, uh, memory for example 20 mb to read uh, 50 mb memory to read uh, sorry map and then like 100 mb to filter and finally you are not doing anything and that means why should i have to use all these resources and do all the transformation for you uh, compiler is asking you when like why why should i have to do all these uh, uh, transformations and and finally you are not doing any action that means why should i have to waste my resource by doing the transformation so here spark has been designed in a way uh, we can call it as an intelligent way that your compiler will check in your code whether there is a piece of action mentioned or not if it is not mentioned your spark job will not start only when it finds the action it will start your very first transformations okay fine so now in transformation we have again two types we call it as narrow transformation and then one is narrow and another one is wide transformation on again a same question you may get in your mind by seeing the transformation how can i differentiate it whether it is narrow or wide so that is the next question for you so for this i'll going to explain you with some example and we do have a practical as well so i'm going to give you an example let me delete this okay so imagine you have uh, 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 four tasks okay you have four tasks you f your first thing you 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 are reading a file okay so okay so read is my first transformation so you have you you read a file and the output is your file and on top of this output uh, the file which you have read on top of it you are applying a map operation okay this is your map output okay and then again you are making a filter operation okay so this is your filter output okay now if you see here all these are one-to-one -one, right it's the, the mapping is similar like one-to-one -one mapping 
So read map filter, we call them as one to one mapping. And uh, if, if it is one to one and we call them as narrow transformations and I will explain you the why. before that, if you take map reduce, right? So you have uh, like three mappers and two reducer in map reduce world. Okay, so imagine uh, this mapper may or may not can send the output of mapper to both the reducer when there is a condition to send them to both the reducer, right? And the second mapper again it will send our part of output to first reducer and second reducer and again the third mapper again may or may not can send uh, its output to both the reducer when when the logic uh, well what are the condition you have written in the reducer based on that it will share the data to this mapper is sharing the data to both the reducer so here what you see is shuffling in map reduce we call something uh, uh, between map and reduce is uh, shuffle shuffle is a core part in map reduce the heart piece right so imagine the same thing happens here now finally uh, in the reducer how you will uh, increase the task of reducer in map reduce code we can set uh, the count two three like that we can increase or we even we can decrease and similar to that in spark also the final aggregation part you can decrease and increase and we do that via repartition there is a function called repartition with that you can able to increase your output task okay or you can decrease okay but for that we use collage but collage repartition and all i will explain you in my upcoming videos now imagine i'm, I'm i just wanted uh, to run my aggregation part in two tasks not as four or five tasks but it's again up to uh, your, the coder's decision so here we call the final thing as reducer but here i can't use that word because we do have so many other uh, transformations not only reducer so that's why i'm, I'm trying to avoid that word when i'm explaining you the same in spark okay i'm having two output aggregation task and what you are going to do here uh, i'm i'm going to do something called group by group by key I just want to group all the outputs. Now I'm just doing a word count. Just imagine I'm, I'm just doing a word count operation. So I have hi here and then uh, hello. Okay. And then here I have hi again and, and uh, I'm having W. Okay. And here again I'm having hi and here I'm having hello. And then here again I'm having hi and again W. Now, so I need all uh, words uh, hi and w to my first uh, task of uh, the group by key or in map reduce term if I want to say I need hi and w count to my first reducer and hello to my second reducer. Okay, so that means this particular mapper will send hi to this mapper and this particular mapper will send hi and w to this reducer because it has both right our our con our condition is we have to send hi and w to this and even if you take third it has hi so it is sending only the hi and here hi and w so it has to send both and if you take the first mapper again it is sending hello to this node because it has hello whereas in second uh, task we don't need it and third yes it has hello and in fourth again we don't want it because it doesn't have hello so what happens here is shuffle so this uh, so what uh, before uh, reaching to this reducer all these mapper outputs like this one and uh, this one and this one and this one because all these mapper has all these tasks has high it's it's group all the high and send it send and all the w and send it to my first reducer and that's means shuffling what is shuffling uh, in map reduce we used to say group by key short by key yeah exactly the same thing happens in spark as well shuffle so a shuffle means the data movement is happening from one node to one another node right so, so this is also a transformation, but this transformation requires a shuffling. But if you see these three is also a transformation, but there is no shuffling required. It's just one to one. So the transformation which doesn't have a shuffle, we call them as narrow transformation. And the transformation which has shuffle, which we call it as wide transformation. So that's, that is the difference between wide and narrow transformation. Now, by seeing a transformation list, you can still able to say uh, this transformation is narrow and this is wide. So which is easy. I will show you that. I will show you more uh, transformation and action list for you. Okay, so you can see here all these transformations are one to one and they are narrow. And if you see all these transformation require shuffling, so we call them as wide transformation and all these are actions. Okay, now I will explain you uh, with the word count program. Yeah, I have already explained a word count program, but not with 
this respect to context okay i'm explaining you with this now so first i'm, I'm going to explain this if you see here um, i'm reading a file which is an arrow transformation then i'm doing a flat map to do a split operation which is again an arrow transformation and map i want to split it to key value pair which is again an arrow so i will copy this i will just run it here okay so i have executed all the narrow transformation and uh, i have already the uh, jobs page of spark so you can see one completed job this is this is something i have already uh, done okay this is not the one which we are running now so if you refresh here nothing happens see we have executed the one line right but we didn't get any new job for it right so i am explaining you the lazy evaluation now so now the next thing i'm going to trigger the reduce by which is the aggregation that means this is called wide transformation i'm executing this as well and if i again refresh the page i'm not getting any new job because as i told you only when the compiler uh, checks for the action in the code then only your job will get start and now i'm going to invoke an action so here the last one is b right so b dot collect okay if i do this i will able to see the output uh, you can able to see here and channel is to now now if i refresh this particular uh, thing yeah now i can i can able to see two jobs right so the one uh, yeah this one is latest so uh, so only when i trigger the action i can able to see the job getting started and it's get completed now i click this so if i if i click this i can able to see the dag okay for dag i have a separate video so the main use of dag is uh, for each and every transformation what you trigger uh, uh, spark will maintain a data lineage it maintains what transformation happened before what happened what is going to happen next so it maintain all the information so in between if some transformation is uh, failed or data loss happened it will recompute from the first previous transformation so to maintain all this it maintains we call them as a data lineage to avoid fault tolerant they are doing this for this we need a DAG for sure okay but again I'm gonna make a separate video for DAG uh, but if the video is not available uh, please wait I will upload soon but just I'm giving a heads up of what is DAG so if you see here we have two stages okay so here uh, stage 2 and stage 3 so if you see in stage 2 we have reading a file and then flat map and map and in stage 2 we have reduced by key you can ask me why reduced by key has moved to a second stage uh, that means a different stage I will tell you that see uh, how the stages will work so uh, for every narrow transformation so if I, I'm having five narrow transformations means for all five narrow transformation the stage will be one when when the DAG finds there is a wide transformation right then it will cut here it will create a new stage for this and it will name it as stage two or uh, sorry stage one so uh, whenever you there is a wide and narrow transformation the stages will split okay so and that's the reason i can able to see two stages here okay now i will just go for this uh, second stage that means the first stage okay so why it is not zero and one or one and two because already one job created with the what zero and one stage that's why this job it the stage name is two and three okay don't get confused so i'll go with this uh, stage two i will click this you can see here in first stage uh, reading a text file and then we did a map operation flat map and again a map right now i'm going back and i click uh, the second stage uh, which is collect okay uh, which is third stage okay two and three so if you see here it is mentioned as shuffle rdd that means uh, since this particular transformation is shuffle operation it created a new stage okay so uh, in this video we have uh, completely we discussed about the transformation and its types and also the lazy evaluation part and we discussed about the DAG as well right so thanks for watching a to z knowledge.com uh, if you really like this video please do subscribe my channel and forward this to your friends and colleague if possible it's my request please share this video in your linkedin as well and i have given my linkedin profile and my link uh, instagram id in the description box we do videos in two languages english and tamil the complete spark playlist video is available in the description box and not only big data videos we do have other tech videos as well in my channel please have a look thanks for watching a2zknowledge.com